Jimin from BTS, undoubtedly, without a doubt, the most unique vocalist on the BTS crew, hands down. I'm going to be honest, when I first heard Jimin, I definitely thought it was a girl. And I thought that's an interesting choice for a boy band. But I actually really look forward to hearing Jimin when listening to BTS songs, because that's such a cool contrast, say, between like um, V and Jimin. Like their voices really contrast well. And I think, actually, is there a V and Jimin song out there? Let me know in the comments because I'd actually really love to hear that. So I've been going and listening to a bunch of different, um, like of the individual solo careers of the BTS artists. I've done RM, I did V, I did Jung, no, I haven't, I kind of did Jungkook. I listened to a couple of his songs. I did uh, J Hope, August D. And so the only ones left are Jimin and, oh, what's that other guy's name? Does Jin have a solo career? Anyway, we're gonna be checking out the three like big music videos that Jimin put out the last year. I think it was last year, yeah. And I am going to be listening and watching, checking this out. I'm excited. Hey, phones. I'm not a singer. I just want to apologize for that. I think we could last forever. Why does this sound exactly like that J-Hope uh, what's it called? J-Hope in the street? Did he produce this? Though I do have a question. I'm gonna hit pause. Why is it that when Jimin sings, he barely moves his mouth in the music videos? I don't know. Cool, 80s thing. Yeah, he really lives in that falsetto. But even his, even not, even the not falsetto when he's singing is like still really high. It's a fascinating voice. On Earth is that gunk coming out of the walls. That is nasty. This is a good bop. I like this. Ew. Why are people making out? Disgusting. Party. I feel about this 80s music trend coming back. This, this synth wave thing that's kind of permeating the pop music scene right now. I like it, but like, I feel like it can be a little overdone. Like, the weekend came through and just kind of boof, just pop, 80s pop music is now the cool thing. I mean, whatever. It's fine. I like to see people be a little bit more original with it. One thing I want to see is Jimin, because I know he's like one of the main dancers in BTS. I want to see like, sorry, the room is just like, you know, I'd love to see him do some more dance stuff in his solo career. That'd be really cool. Why is he standing on people making out? That is disgusting. <laughs> Weird creative choices right there, but whatever, man. Nothing's really, like, catching my ear in this song. I feel like it's like, I'm just struggling to connect with maybe the vocal melody and the production. It, it seems kind of, kind of vague. Not really like, I'm not gonna say it's not original.
At least he didn't put butter in his mouth. Okay, so the 80s thing. It's hard to be original with the 80s synthwave music. And I don't really know why I've not produced anything. I don't think I've produced anything in that genre. It's hard to be original because there's just a certain set of things that beat with big synths just going and it's hard to really be original with that unless you're gonna like make it your thing and really go for it. Like The weekend does it really well. Then I think I would stay away from the synthwave 80s stuff. Obviously it's a cool song and people like it a lot. It's got uh, 143 million views. Is that because of the music or is it because it's Jimin and Jimin is freaking awesome and his voice is amazing? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Let's go to Set Me Free Part 2. Now, I don't really, I don't know if there's a Set Me Free Part 1. I did a quick Google and I didn't see it. Hold on. Uh, is there? I don't, I don't know why there's no, wait. Set Me Free, Augs D has a Set Me Free. I'm, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with it. Well, this is a different vibe. <laughs> what is this choir thing? Whoa, I have a feeling there's gonna be some dancing in this one. Please be dancing. Yeah, this is a lot more what I was hoping for. It sounds a little bit more original so far. This is different. Wait, what? Wait, who's... Was that like... Was that August D rapping? And then... I'm so confused. What was the... Was this Jimin the whole time? But this is way better. I like this. I love this set. This is cool. going on is he just like such an interesting vocal effect to hear Jimin singing with autotune is really strange I and mean, it works oh, I love his voice I love it when he does his little like his little I don't, I don't even know what that's called like it's just like quick vocal lines it's so cool What is the, what is written on his? Dancing is awesome in this. Choreography is sick. Love it. It's, I bet it's hard to get a group of like 30 people like that to all do the thing. Obviously BTS is like kind of iconic for that. I hope there's like a like a bridge or something. This is sick. No, don't be over. Don't be over. Oh, wait. Oh, please don't be over. Going. No. Mm. Come on. I want to. I want to. White. Outfit Jim and to go into something sick. Dang it. 
man, that threw me through a loop. I was not expecting the auto tune hip hop vocally thing to happen. That was actually kind of sick. I like that. Yeah, that was quite a bit different. I was quite a bit different than the like crazy song. I actually have a theory so far. It sounds like Jimin's just kind of looking for his sound. Um, he, I think he's fairly new to having a solo career. I think he's only started really doing stuff on his own in the last year. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so he's definitely in the middle of like finding his sound. I think like August D, RM, those guys have been like writing for a long time, producing for a long time. So they kind of have their sound and especially like J-Hope. They've all been like doing their thing and uh, for a long time. Uh, and it's cool to see Jimin get into some more, I guess, solo career stuff. And I'm excited for him to really find his sound because I think what he does, it's going to take off. I mean, it's already incredibly successful, but so four months ago, he released Closer Than This. I don't know. I, again, I have not listened to any of these songs yet. This is just my initial reactions to them. Um, and so uh, this is his most recent music video song and uh, single thing. And let's check it out. In the studio. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, is this the music video? Oh, it is. Sweet. Ooh. Turn that up. I like that. Oh, that is definitely in America. Looks like LA. Yeah, that's definitely LA. Oh, Brooklyn? Ah. Doesn't really look like Brooklyn. <laughs> Early BTS moments. That's great. Oh, this is sweet. This is so fun. I like seeing all like the behind the scenes stuff. This is awesome. It's kind of going into the past of his career with uh, BTS. That's so fun. Ooh, there's like a really deep sub bass kick in the background there. You won't be able to hear that on a phone. That is cool. So definitely work well for a lyric video, like the actual lyrics on the screen with all the, the text, or the, not the text, the video clips and photos and stuff. These guys have so much fun. That's what I really like about BTS is I feel like they just have like way too much fun. Uh, but they're like, kind of seem like they're actually like there for each other. It's not just like a conglomerate of company putting together different random singers to do it. But I feel like they really do love singing together and being a band from just a little behind the scenes stuff that I've seen. I really do have to watch that uh, BTS behind the scenes video. The... Dang, that studio is sick.
Man, that was sweet. Closer than this. All right. Jimin. I love, I really do like his voice. Um, and currently I do genuinely believe he's just finding his sound right now. I don't think he's, I don't think he's quite stepped into his element as a solo career yet. I don't know what it needs. I don't know what the set sounds like, but it's definitely going to get there. And I think it's going to be really cool. Jimin, from what I've heard so far, he works really well in that BT, like just working with BTS in the band and just being like an incredible support vocalist there. And I, but I'm excited for him to find him, find his sound. And I don't know what that's going to sound like. And I'm excited for him to find it. And I think he needs to release an album kind of like Jungkook did. And I think that'll help a lot. Because when you work on a, like a 12 to 13 songs at a time, um, it really helps you see your sound. Like, cause it's like, you got like one song after another and you're just working on all these tracks around the same time. Sometimes you'll do one and then the next, the next, the next. But a lot of times you kind of have a bunch of songs that you're all writing at the same time. And your producer is working with you and you're kind of like working together with some people and you're finding a sound. Albums help you find a sound. When you do a ton of singles, it can kind of be all over the place, like what's going on with Jimin. Um, but when you really work on an album and uh, albums, a lot of people are saying the album is dead. The album is dead. And Sure, yes, the album as a concept is no longer necessary because there's no longer really CDs anymore or records or whatever. It's all online. But the album is good for the artist, not necessarily. It's great for the audience as well, but the artist really needs to work on an album. And I stand behind that 100% because it helps you find your sound. I'm excited for Jimin to, uh, yeah, I'm excited for Jimin to find his sound. And I think it'll be really cool. Thank you guys for watching. If there's any other songs that I missed or you want me to listen to in the future, let me know in the comments and I'll take a look. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.